In this video, we look at the new centerline skin tool introduced with version 11. Skinning is the process of constructing a NURB surface between non-intersecting sections. Version 11 introduces the ability to specify a path. The path defines the flow of the surface between the sections. Specifying a path means you may be able to define less sections, which may produce a more pleasing surface. It gives you some additional options. The path does have some important restrictions that include the path must be one G2 continuous curve. This means there's no polylines or grouped curves as part of the path. And two, the path must be perpendicular at the section intersection. And I'll demonstrate this later in the video to show how you can uh, accommodate this restriction. Let's go ahead and demonstrate some example of centerline skins. Let's begin by reading in an example file containing a bunch of centerline skin tests. And let's zoom in on this particular starting example. Select the centerline skin tool from the surface tool palette, third option from the left, and then the centerline tool is the fourth option in the subtool palette. Let's begin by selecting the first section, the last section, and then the guide curve. And let's proceed to the next one. In this particular case, notice that that section is not perpendicular to the skin and then the behavior will be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and see. First profile, second profile, guide curve. It's going to ask us if we want to force the centerline slopes to be perpendicular to section and we're going to say yes. Next section, section one, section two, guide curve. So you can take a variety of different shapes into another shape. Let's do a square to a circle along a helical path. Square, circle, path. And let's have a circle go to a small point. And now let's do a uh, spiral. And note that the start section needs to be along the start of your center line. And in this case, I turned on the uh, verify show direction to see where to, where to select first. And let's select the circle and the square and now the path. And the next one, let's do uh, one where we have more than two sections. And this time I'll have to hold down the shift key and I'll select the circle, the triangle, the rectangle, and the guide curve. And I want to show you how you would go about placing a section on a guide curve because that is really important when using this tool. Each of these sections must be perpendicular through the uh, center line at that point. And one of the features of the magnet tool is it lets you do that by selecting the entity that we want to snap and the entity that we want to snap to. And when we snap to, it takes the first derivative at the point along that path and it transforms that rounded rectangle from the old position to the new position. So now you can see that it was placed perpendicular to it. And now let's go ahead and do our centerline skin with four sections. And I will do the circle, rounded rectangle, triangle, rectangle, and then a path. 